welcome to Virtual Sunday School, Easter Special. Grab your drink and a biscuit and let's do this. Snap! When you're stuck at home with time to spare, can't go outside, you're not going anywhere. Why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a suit, tune into Virtual Sunday School. We're the craft to do and the story or two. Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too. Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? Today is Easter Sunday and that means that you might have an Easter egg. And while chocolate is amazing, it's not the best thing about Easter. Today we're going to look at the real reason we celebrate Easter. We'll look at a Bible story, a craft, a prayer, a surprise, so stick around for that. And then we'll finish with a final thought. You can't have Easter Sunday without having Good Friday. So today we're going to look at Jesus' death and resurrection. We're going to tell today's story through a poem and you can join in at home by counting down from 10 with me. So, fingers at the ready. Take a breath and count down from 10. Jesus hung on a cross. The Romans were mean. It's all there in John chapter 19. At least eight people were there. Oh, there was actually lots more. His body was broken as he'd said before. A thief hanging next to him on a cross said, remember me in your kingdom. He knew who was boss. You'll join me in paradise, Jesus replied. He'd join him in a great place when he died. It's seven. Get it, heaven, seven. <laughs> After six long hours hanging up there, Jesus passed away and the curtain did tear. No longer separation from God on high. Jesus took all our sins when he did die. A lot has just happened, so let's all take five. Jesus, son of God, on a cross has just died. But things moved on, no time to be stressed. A local man, Joseph, laid Jesus to rest. Back to the Bible. We said John at the start, but all four of the Gospels have this at the heart. Jesus was laid three days in a tomb. With guards stood outside, then there was a boom! Some women had come to visit the grave to pay their respects and look at the cave. Two angels appeared, the guards fell on the ground. The women were crying, oh, what a sound! He is alive. Jesus is not here. There is one risen saviour, so do not fear. Why don't you have a go at retelling the Easter story by writing a poem? You could even count down from 10. Or you could try reenacting the story of the empty tomb by using some of your teddies or toys, creating a little tomb, and then you could even use your Easter egg as the stone that was rolled away. Did you know one of the things that Easter eggs represent is the stone that was rolled away from Jesus' tomb on Easter Sunday? Now it's time for our surprise! Now some of you might remember Rob from a few weeks ago who wrote the theme song for Virtual Sunday School. Well, Rob's been at it again and he has written our very own song all about Easter. The song picks up the story from where our poem ends. So if you want to check it out, click on the link below and you can come and join me for some of the dance moves. Woo! Now it's time to do some crafts. <laughs> I've got two craft ideas for you today. The first one's nice and easy and the second one you'll need your grown-up's help. For our first craft, you simply draw an egg on a piece of paper and design your own Easter egg. You could even add a Bible verse to it. For our second craft, we're going to create some excellent eggs. <laughs> For this craft, you'll need to hard boil an egg, you'll need a glass or a bowl, some food dye and some water. You'll need to ask your grown-up to help you boil the egg. After you've hard boiled the egg, wait for it to cool and then get cracking. Grab your glass of cold water, pop in some food dye, pop your hard boiled egg in and then leave it for at least an hour or longer if you want the colours to stand out more. 
you've left the egg for a while, give it a quick rinse under cold water and then peel away the shell to reveal your completely edible, colourful egg! For today's prayer time, I wanted to share with you a Bible verse found in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not die but have everlasting life. Because Jesus died and rose again, beating death, we have hope. We can have a relationship with God and one day be with him in heaven. You can have that hope of eternal life as well. If you're sorry for all the wrong things that you've done and believe in Jesus, the Son of God and his death and resurrection, then you can have a relationship with God. If you agree with that and want to have a relationship with God, then I'm going to say a prayer and you can repeat it at home and join in by saying Amen. Dear God, I'm sorry for all the wrong things that I have done. I believe that you sent your son, Jesus, who died on the cross and rose again to pay the price for all my wrongdoings. I thank you that I can have forgiveness because of him and I pray that you will come into my heart and change my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, a final thought. Easter is one of the most important celebrations for Christians because it is what our faith is built on and gives us a hope for the future. Remember, when you're tucking into your Easter egg, it can remind you of the empty tomb, the stone that was rolled away, and the real reason that we celebrate Easter. We've heard from so many people this week, amazing comments, great messages, and so many photos and videos. Have a look. people watching from all around the world, a lot here in the UK and this week a lot over in the States. So hey y'all! We'll be back next week with another virtual Sunday School but we want to hear from you during the week. So send us your comments, your messages, your videos and photos. Just ask your grown-up to head over to Forefront Theatre on Facebook and comment on the video link. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give this video a like and share it with your friends. We want Virtual Sunday School to encourage as many families as we can. See you next week. Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School?